Hey guys, right over here we have the 2023 Kia Sportage SX SUV. It has an odometer reading of 15,616 miles, which is fantastic. You also got that beautiful roof kind of cage thing up there. That's actually really, really cool. I would say it's kind of like a car basket. But with that as well, we can check out some of the statistics. So first off, you got the Wolf Gray exterior paint job, which is usually for the higher trim models on this vehicle, as well as the black leather interior. You're gonna get front wheel drive for the drivetrain, a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine with an eight speed automatic transmission. You're also going to be getting 25 miles per gallon in the city with 32 on the highway. With all of those as well, um, here at the Swear Car Company, we do not have city sales tax, so you're going to be able to save around 2 to 3% compared to other dealerships around the area because we are on a county island. That goes for any of our vehicles, including this one. But with that, let's actually check out some of the other specs. We're going to be having the price up very, very soon, but the MSRP of this vehicle is 31790 and I would have to assume it's going to be a little bit more because you got those crossbars and the car cage up there. You're also going to have 187 horsepower with a five year, 60,000 mile basic factory warranty. So you get a really, really solid vehicle for, you know, kind of the price. It's, it's awesome. But with that, let's actually check out the exterior a little bit, kind of get a good look see. So you get the Kia badge right here at the front, good looking grill. You got that chrome at the bottom, as well as some of that silver type of accent. It looks really, really good. You're also gonna get the piano black plastic on the exterior, which I usually don't see on cars nowadays, but on this one, it's really, really nice. With that wolf gray, some chrome, so on and so forth. Get kind of like this brushed, uh, steel metallic look when it comes to the aluminum alloy wheels. You're also going to be getting keyless entry for the driver and passenger door handles. Going to the back, you get this good looking tail light system. I love what they do with the Sportages. And let's actually open up this automatic tailgate real quick. So you get this panel black plastic on the back. You get those uh, cloth floor mats and the rubber lining. So this is kind of like a, I would say a really, really solid vehicle for when you're going out and you're going off-roading. Um, I wouldn't say that this is the best for off-roading, but definitely a good camping car. You're gonna have a 12 volt port in the rear as well. And yeah, let's actually close this thing real quick. Let's go on inside. So, let's use that keyless entry. Really, really easy. So when it comes to the interior, you got a pretty good looking leather interior. You're gonna get that red with the black like we were saying earlier, but you're gonna mainly get the red. And you're gonna get the Harmony Carden stereo system, which comes with a subwoofer in the back. You're also going to be getting two USB-C ports that go on each side on both of the seats. Rear ventilation, cup holders right over here. And as well as that, you get a panoramic moonroof, which we're gonna be able to check out right now. But before we get to that, actually, we're gonna get power adjustable seating for the driver and passenger. Two memory seat settings for the driver. You get traction control right over here to the left. Off the bat, you get this leather wrapped steering wheel, your buttons right over here. You're also gonna be getting your center console down over here, which has some decent storage. Cup holders down there. You're also gonna be able to check out that we have the rear view camera that you can actually just press that button, it'll be right there. Different driving modes, such as sport, smart, and normal. Awesome. You get two heated seats, your shifter, two USB ports, which is one is actually USB-C, and that's mainly for charging, but the USB is mainly for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You get a 12 volt port. This can actually switch between AC and the navigational system, or actually just the other systems that are gonna be going into your infotainment display. But let's actually check this thing out real quick. So, right over here, we're gonna have your infotainment display check this out real quick so you're gonna get all your different features right over here and if we go to setup, I think it's actually set up yeah let's go to setup go to vehicle have driving convenience forward safety driver attention warning parking safety blind spot safety lane safety and speed limit warning you get all those rear view mirror up here you're also going to be getting those controls to the Kia connect system and the panoramic moonroof which you can just see that cage right there so so if you want to learn more about this come on down to the car company to learn more